Well, the engine doesn't fit anymore, so... Uh... And this was the best we could come up with before racing. <laughs> it's, it's a little bit stupid, anyway. Welcome back everybody, we're uh, doing stuff on the 350 again in the ute, so um, we're just going to be doing some improvements today on uh, what we found out drag racing last weekend. So we found out our transmission is pretty much, it's not happy, Camaro going past, um, our transmission's not happy, we've got third gear is, um, it doesn't, it slips when it changes into third gear under load, it just doesn't grab it, so that's why we've got really bad mile an hour, it just up, up on the top gear, it just did nothing. We'll be changing the manifold to a, uh, I got a knockoff of an Edelbrock Performer. This torque manifold, it's kind of, it's a low rise dual plane, not dual plane, it's a low rise single plane, so it's just kind of bad at everything. It doesn't give you torque, doesn't give you high RPM horsepower. So, um, we are going to a dual plane, and um, everything else is just use the same. But, um, yeah, let's start ripping shit apart. intakes off now um, I wanted to take the intake off first so I could figure out where my ports were because I wanted to sort of gasket match my uh, uh, my new intake to uh, these runners so um yeah that's the plan before we get to it I'll show you what I've just done real quick I've uh, as soon as I've had the uh, the manifold off I can see what my um, where my push rods are at you know valves the rockers the cam lobes everything so um I've rolled it over to uh, where I want to time the motor because I don't have a distributor in it at the moment so I have to go through all that again and set up my timing again so uh, I don't want to pull these off again if I don't have to I've already got this off but uh, now yeah we can chuck on our manifold so here's our new manifold that we'll be using um, don't worry I'll clean it up it looks a bit dirty at the moment I'm just figuring out um, where my ports are in alignment of what's on the heads and what's in on the intake or what's in the intake so what I've done I've marked where the top line of my ports are on the intake and I've done the same on the heads and you can see that it's this is pretty inaccurate with the texture I really should be using a scriber but they're pretty close this side's almost it's a little bit out um, so I'm not really gonna worry a whole lot all I'm gonna do is um, square the ports because if we have a look this thing the ports are a bit uh, they're not they're not all the same shape exactly they're pretty close but like, look at yeah, look at that one there not all the same, so I'm just going to make them all the same, clean up all the uh, dodgy stuff, and uh, that's probably all we'll do with this uh, intake before we uh, bolt it on. Um, this is set up, this uh, is for a, uh, what do you call it, a spread ball carburetor, but um, the 4150 also bolts to it, no problem, so um, that's no issue. Um, so yeah, I'll, uh, we'll get out dog grinder and mark ourselves a, uh, a perfect rectangle and away we go. Oh well guys, I'll show you what I'm up to apart from making a big mess. Um, on the manifold, I've cut this divider down a little bit, just even things out. Not much, might have, I don't know, what would that be? Some. Um, started squaring up things, so I haven't really touched a few of them. This is all just roughed out for the time being. But um, 
just making it all the same. I'll clean it all up after I start when I've got my shapes with the polishing roll. Everything will look okay. You don't really doesn't need to look a million bucks to make it work, but um yeah. That's um what we're getting to. And uh, this is a bit shit though on the cast. So you see this is really thin here. That that is literally the, the floor of the port. I'm like it, that that I didn't do that. It's a bit ridiculous. So I don't really that's not really uh kind of much about that. That's as far as I'm gonna go on the other port. But um it is what it is. We'll see how it performs on the track. It's only a what do you call it? Yeah, I got it for free, so I'm not really miss losing anything. So, uh, so guys, done a few things. Got our intake now looking much better. I sandblasted it, so it's not shiny anymore, but I don't really care. I was happy with the matte finish. Just wanted all the yuck off it. Cleaned up ports a little bit. Made them all a bit more square and even. Um, I have been, I've noticed too, uh, now, um, if you look down inside the, yeah, you won't be able to see anything. I'll turn the light on. Uh, have a look at that. That's oil, and that's pretty much most of them. So our valve stem seals are no good. But also that's a good thing, meaning that the oil consumption it's not from the bottom end; it's in the head. So that's a lot more easier to address, and also it doesn't really affect how the engine makes its power. It just fouls plugs all the time and. You have to put a bit of oil in it every 500 k's, but um, we're just going to chuck this on and go racing because it's next weekend, so we don't really have time to pull heads off and fix that, but it'll still work. So um, now we will get to uh, bolting this thing on. Takes now on, all bolted up. Um, we've got to sort this out, and the issue we got pretty much in every situation, it still will not clear the bonnet. So, if even just like that, and I bolt it on and put an air filter on, it still will hit this. Um, so, and also, I reckon I want to, you know, just for weight factor, I want to put the spacer on, and also, uh, I don't think I cut this down far enough to uh, even out my. Uh, smart people stuff um, to put this on so uh, if you sit this on here it's quite high so uh, I've got a spare bonnet we're going to cut a hole in it and um, the only problem is it's uh, not the same colour well it is it's grey and it's full of surface rust but uh, I reckon I'll go get some pressure packs and knock it back and make it the same colour as the car and we might just have this thing sticking out the bottom a bit even without an air filter, this thing will hit the bonnet. So, uh, yeah. The only way it won't hit the bonnet is uh, if it's sitting on the manifold with no air filter and oh, I kind of want an air filter. So, um, yeah, that's probably what's going to end up happening. But before I drop the carb on, I'm going to uh, play with the, put the distributor in, all that sort of thing, little things, and start buttoning things up. So, uh, we'll get to it. So we got uh, the intake on and the carby, well you saw the intake on, um, we got the carby on and that sort of thing, we're just sitting it on there because we got a uh, donor bonnet, don't worry about the red, we're going to sort that out, maybe if we've got time, but um, this is our spare bonnet, we're going to cut a hole in, um, we're going to figure out what to do with the colour later, but what we're going to do, so I'll put the carby stud on there and uh, if you have a look, 
that's where the middle of it is. So we're gonna to, got to cut all this out and um, make our hole for our air cleaner. Well, we think we've pretty much sorted the bonnet, holes cut, all deburred and everything. You can't cut yourself. It looks like a pretty, pretty good circle for an angle grinder. We're just going to run it like that for uh, drags next week. We don't really have time to paint it and make it look nice. And you know, it'd be kind of, kind of funny. Um, so yeah, we're just going to work with that and chuck it on like that. We were going to just uh, bolt the bonnet on as it was, but uh, we can't deal with this red. This is looks wrong underneath. So we're just going to rattle it something that's the closest colour of the car while we've got time. So yeah, gave it a quick squirt with the paint. It looks absolutely shit, but at least it's sort of white. We we only got today to do this. So uh, yeah, racing next weekend, Saturday. So uh, yeah, this is what we can do. So here we are. We've got the car jacked up. We're uh, installing our shift kit right now, trying to figure out what we're doing. No fucking clue. <laughs> so um, we'll get back to you when it's back in the car and hopefully we figured it out. So guys, got the car back on the ground, shift kit's in, about to chuck the bonnet back on. Shift kit, absolute, not, not, that was not a fun job, but um, see what happens. So now we've got the bonnet to do, and yeah. Well, here it is. The air filter, we uh, kind of cocked up the cut, so it's a little bit wider at the back. But anyway, so uh, but what we're going to do, we're going to probably get a bigger filter so it kind of closes this over a little bit. But um, yeah, it's uh, on the car. Uh, we did just get it running. We're too buggered, we're too pissed off. But anyway, long day today, but uh, I think we've sort of succeeded. So uh, we'll see how we go with the transmission when we uh, go drive it. Well, everybody, thank you for watching today's video on sorting all this piece of shit out. Um, and we'll see you in the next one where we'll be uh, taking this to the track.